hopefully I'll be able to get some Charmander at Fort Canning and of course some of the rare Pokemon that is spawning like these few days. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. <laughs> There has been quite a number of reports of Charmander sightings in Fort Canning Park uh, these few days after the nest migration. Uh, that's why I actually go there and check it out and I realized yes, there's quite a number of uh, Charmanders. Uh, I've also had reports of uh, Dragonite's Aerodactyl at uh, un unknown random times uh, appearing in Fort Canning Park. The, the grammar is up, up the hill there. Oh, I, I hear some thunder. Maybe it's gonna rain. There's a lot of people playing Pokemon Go, and uh, you can see that it's everywhere. Okay, Fort Canning definitely. There's a lot of Charmander at specific times, and there's a lot of people coming here to catch Pokemon. Uh, it's a good place to be, but I'll be prepared to uh, go up slope uh, for a very long time. Lots of staircase. Uh, however, Fort Canning here is definitely very hot. Uh, prepare, prepare umbrella caps and lots of uh, drinks so that you will not dehydrate and uh, yeah enjoy <laughs> After the sun almost killed me or barbecued me at the Fort Canning Park, I decided to go down to Marina Bay Sands again and it proved to be one of the best places to catch Pokemons. While I was buying some drinks at 7-Eleven uh, at the Marina Bay Sands, I, I, I saw a huge group of people rushing out and guess what? Yes, it's Lapras. Okay, now everyone is catching Lapras. As you can see behind me, there's a big rush to catch Lapras at uh, Marina Bay Sands, which is uh, pretty epic. <laughs> Understanding the developer reluctance to uh, open up the API for third-party maps, I really hope the developer will improve on the trackings of the, uh, the Pokemons, not just an, a, a experimental uh, sightings where the nearest Pokemon is the near, near to the nearest Pokestop, but I, I hope the developer will give a little bit of the third party map uh, features within the game itself so that uh, at least there is some kind of analytics, some kind of way to find out where is the best place to, 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 to go and catch Pokemon. Uh, because currently there's a lot of people congregating at popular hotspots and uh, neglecting some of the locations uh, you know, that is very high spawn rate of other rare Pokemon like the Aerodactyl uh, like the Porygons, it's very very rare in in these hotspots to spawn. So I really hope the developer will improve on that and uh, it will actually in it helps out on the game itself. Well basically that's it for this video and I hope you like this video of course. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day. See ya, bye bye.